like, Who's yeah, playing I, what? I really don't want to try try <laughs> to guess here because it's uh, kind of hard. OG has been doing this thing. I believe it was season one where Morphling was played. It is blocked by Thunder Predator. So by buying that ward, you're actually allowing Thompson to go in and steal your gold Leo style. Nice dodge on the cookie. Gets the first blood. Very fires up and survives. <laughs> well, look at this, the, 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 the cookie burn charge. So that's a lot of overtime damage combined with the swarm. And this time there's no neutral camp there. So Moose will be able to grab up that kill yet again while Sumel, the urns put on him. Shifting into strength with 13 one charges. Away form in a second. On them. Mars steeping top, that's a big rotation with the invis. Oh, Medusa's very low, but Seb and Saxa both get taken out. Leo Star deserves those tips. Amp what's no tail up to? What's, he's just, what's he after? Just being annoying and uh, going to pay with Medusa. his life. Ah, he will. Again, surrounded by three heroes. Yeah, you, you were talking about that feel-good factor, the momentum there. That we don't see that usual. Most of the time, it's the enemy safe lane tower that falls. Leo Star, yet again, making himself known in the top lane. Seb with the bugs on him. Quick little fissure, but no real way of escaping that as in towards mid MJZ is being hunted by Topson, who ravages the undying. That high ground tombstone <laughs> is, is well positioned, but Topson shuts it down completely. He doesn't need the possess mask then, does he? Topson. No ravage, and like you said, that means Thunder Predator. Kick it into fifth gear and try to angle towards him, but it's still a tide hunter. He's got medallion, soul ring, one charges, and he's got the rest of his team to come into mid. So male wave forms forward aggressively, but with 21 charges of his own, there's not really much Thunder Predator can do. The rest of the team was not fight ready. Yeah, waving down to that low ground, very ballsy by him. Saxa doesn't get stunned up by the spear. Stone Gaze used out by Minos, and they do kill off that snap fire at last as Topson. Aiming towards the tombstone. Need to remove that structure from the fight as they move in with Sam, helped out by the Ravage. Catching Medusa on the outskirts. Minos, does he have any more help here? Mana Shield turned back on. Sumel going for it, gets across the arena, aiming towards the Medusa and finishes her off. Sumel, he's handling Thunder Predator right now. Dobson, two times in a row, using Ravage just to delete Undying. They also use <laughs> Echo Slam to kill him there. A bit of an overkill, but and Totem, level one, no Echo Slam. Scan connecting from Dire, so they know something is up. Bugs will scout him. They've got to go. They've got to move quick, but Medusa, can she get across the map? Does she have TP ready? I mean, this is a Frank Night Stalker coming in first. Moose trapped in the Sprout. So male being pushed out of the pit. Oh, look at that damage, though. Leo Stall and Frank shredding through no tails profit. But Sumel with the DD rune, making short work of Moose. They've got a sentry on the high ground. They take him down. Oh, he was waiting. Moose was waiting. Didn't think there was there is a sentry ward and did not want to use the time lapse. Also a bit surprised. No magic wand, no only level one, so he can survive. I don't think they have enough burst damage. They will need Spirit Vessel on Weaver. We were very under leveled at this point. Level six only, but Spirit Vessel will, and we're gonna see that again. Fisher, he was thinking, you, you saw that he canceled. Oh, there's that arena, Leo style. He's already lost Frank and Mars. Trying to skip away from Sumail does successfully so as MJZ, a big tanky on dying. He's front lining for his team. The trouble is he doesn't have a team anymore. Jump in, the spear there, trying to bait in Sumail's morphling, but Saxa comes out with a double kill. OG's playing Spling Dagger at this point. How, how, oh, is Topson going for that? Is, is, is Topson go Yeah, he's got Seb to back him up. He's absolutely going for it. The Blink Dagger. Echo slams down the Medusa. Uh on Medusa, they do not want to let her farm. We can already see they're inside a triangle. Ravage is available. He can't use it inside that fear, though. He's crippled. Topson gets away from the spear. He's low. Wait, hang on. Where's the rest of OG? Are they, are they coming? No, oh, they've only got one hero nearby. It's Seb who might look for a fissure. The Ravage is expended, but they get nothing from it. <laughs> well, no tail. Does lose his courier. But OG... Are Putting their foot down now, heading to high ground, and there's the start. Kicking off with a Fisher and some mail. Slams moves. Gone for 30 seconds, and that looks like a tier 3 tower with no glyph available from coming in. Nah, there's nobody. I mean, it's, it's got to be a Mars Arena. That's pretty much be all and end all of their team fights. 
So Mel gets into zombie mode. Creates a tombstone of his own. And now Thunder Predator, yes, they are five alive, but Medusa with pretty limited mana at this point can't really get into this team fight proper. Sumel goes to clear out the tomb, still with Aegis in hands for 30 seconds. Arena in the back with a blink away from Seb, oh, leaving no tail isolated, but he's still surviving longer than expected. Frank dealing with that. Mortimer's kisses. They do lose the profit, but still. Forced back as Minos pops the stone gaze. MJZ chased down and hunted by Sumer. Ravage Thompson's available. There. He does have the Ravage ready, but he's not going to use it just yet. MJZ hiding in that, that invis form. And then he's going to ravage him <laughs> for the undying once more. Uh, this is the what, fourth time that he used Ravage just to kill undying. Oh, it's worth it. He kills him off. Now Frank's moved into the front lines. Thompson still baiting and toying with Thunder Predator. Leo style. Oh... It's dangerous business, this is. E Blade. So Mail doesn't have Aegis, but you're right. He's e going to have that. Uh, E-Blade coming. Another spear back. Leo Style makes a hasty retreat away from that top lane. Oh, oh the Fisher catches Moose. Gone for 30 seconds. Cookie to get down to low ground if need be. Also a four staff on top of it. So true. he can push people out of the silence, which is... Uh, if they try to Wait, focus on Tide Hunter Leo style. Sax is trying to solo Leo style right now. E Blade comes down and onto Frank, but Sax does die. Samael turns into Weaver. MJZ sprouted up. Thompson held away. There's a good, well positioned tombstone there. Who's coming in from the back? It's Moose on the Weaver. Plus Samael on the Weaver. Weaver on Weaver, catching out Notel, but here's another Ravage in from Topson. Saxa buys back for this and they kill the Weaver off. The real one, not the Sumel one, as Mortimus Kisses land in towards Minos. TP forced out, any stuns, any catch, nothing to cancel the TP. But Thunder Predator losing out there, Mars and their Weaver. As long as we stay positive, we'll win. Roshan may respawn in uh, five to Moose must do, even if it means him dying needs to buy time for Medusa. But OG already making a move. Yes, straight onto MJZ. They do still have the Echo Slam, but like you mentioned, it's this Aghanim Scepter on Sumail, able to enchant Totem back and forth through the fight, as well as Seb dancing around. Good four staff from Saxa to disengage as much as you can as uh, the Morphling jumps in straight towards the Crippling Fear. The Mortimus kisses in the E-Blade. Blow through Frank as Prophet buys back. No Tail wants a bit of this action as well. They fish at the Dusa. Isolating Minos as a shake a cord inside that arena spear. Leo Style takes him down, but there is nothing that can handle Sumail at this point. Now Thompson comes. Ravage available. Medusa very low on mana, only 300. He's trying to walk it in. Moves with that. That time that's back. Still not going to be able to withstand the onslaught from OG. Sumail. Talked about desperation smokes in the previous game. This could be it. Frank. Dark Ascension, jump in towards the back lines, gets a good curse out there as Leo style Mars Arena, but doesn't really catch anyone bar Seb. MGZ's already been taken down by Thompson and some else come He's in. He's going to go for that the echo. With the echo slam from Seb, takes down two. They do have a couple of buybacks, but Thompson's ravaged the Medusa. Mortimer throws the lava, kisses across towards Thunder Predator, and Medusa's down for 30, uh, 70 seconds. I would not be surprised if they just call it, even though they have just echo slams to people. Even if they catch Earthshaker, I still believe believe at that point uh, the game is just over Gary yeah GG's cool they're gonna clear up the throne and just like that OG continue their winning uh, their undefeated streak here at the international